So if you want Zotero installed into your Word, uh, the first thing uh, you want to do is check and make sure it's in Word or not in Word. Now, I would close out all your Word documents and everything, close out Word, and then reopen it. Sometimes you have to reopen it to get it to work. Uh, and then if you go in Word, it's right there. If it's not there, uh, the next thing you want to do is go into Zotero itself. So Zotero is that, that button right there or right there. Uh, so I'll go open up Zotero and then go into Tools, Add-ons, and you see it's right there. It's, it's already enabled. Now I'm not going to press Disable. Now if that's not working, um, in other words, you don't see it or something like that, then the next step, there's one other thing you can do. Now, mind you, uh, it seems that if you're only using Word online, this might not work. Um, so make sure you have Word installed into your computer. Now, provided it is installed in your computer and you still can't find it, then it's a little tricky, but I'm going to close that out. But you go into your program folder there. I already have it up, so let's go back so you can see where how I got to this. Um, I go into my program files. And then I want to find Zotero, which will be at the bottom. I press Zotero. I have a ton of folders in here for, for Zotero. I want to go into Extensions. Uh, now I have two. I want Word. Install. And then I just copy that folder. Uh, so if you go in there, copy, and then I copy it. Um, now I'm not actually going to do it because I have it. Now, the next step you do is go back into Word. and file go all the way down to the bottom options and then you want advanced options and then you will go down general we got general over here file locations press that start up press that modify Now what you want to do is paste that um, folder that you had in there before. Um, now I can't paste because it actually doesn't. I didn't copy it, but you paste it um, here. And you might not see it, but press OK. OK. OK, keep on pressing. Um, now do the same thing. Go out of Word, close it up, and then open it up back up, and hopefully you'll see it in there. 